California's largest lake is shrinking. The Salton Sea, once a vacation destination, is now experiencing a major loss of its wetland habitats and the release of toxic dust from exposed lake bed. These are two enormous ecological issues will only continue to get worse in the coming decades as flow into the lake decreases. The solution to both these problems could possibly be solved by simply reusing the water that flows into the salt sea and working with nature to create habitat and suppress dust. While the Salton Sea continues to shrink, my plan could continue to progress and be fully implemented when the elevation becomes more stable. My plan would work as so. All surface water that drains directly into the Salton Sea could be diverted into two perimeter rivers that flow around the lake. These rivers themselves would be created by constructing an upper berm and a lower berm. Surface water, instead of flowing directly into the Salton Sea, would flow into the outer river, the inner river, and then into the Salton Sea. These berms would be an arbitrary seven feet in height and hold back water that is up to six feet deep. These man-made rivers would serve three functions. They would suppress dust by directly covering playa, create wetland habitat, and hold water for irrigation of native plants on the playa. These plants could make up the riparian and desert scrub habitats that could be built between the rivers and between the lower river and the Salton Sea. To calculate if there will be enough water to sustainably support this plan in the coming decades, I have created two models of the Salton Sea in 2047. These models were made using information from these sources in a geospatial program called ArcPro. I chose the year 2047 because that is the year that the highlighted study found that the Salton Sea's elevation will no longer dramatically decrease. The first model created, the map on the left, will be the Salton Sea in 2047 with no playa mitigation in place. The playa shown here is the amount exposed since 2003 when the quantification settlement agreement came into being. The red line going around the Salton Sea is the average shoreline last year. The second model, the map on the right, will be the Salton Sea in 2047 with my plan in place. Although the Salton Sea would shrink due to some water being withheld in the perimeter rivers, I estimate that the lake's elevation would only decrease by a little over 4 feet. My analysis found that this plan could increase the amount of playa covered by water by 11%, decrease the total amount of exposed playa by 84%, and increase the amount of vegetation on the playa by over 102 square miles. Despite this plan having many advantages, this plan has some potential downsides. For example, this plan does not directly help the health of the Salton Sea. Salinity levels should not decrease with the implementation of this plan, unfortunately. Additionally, there is much more research that is still required to understand the feasibility of this project. For example, my analysis does not cover how much water would be lost to evaporation by creating the rivers and by using some of the river water for irrigation. My analysis also does not take into account how the movement of groundwater affects the models. A more complete analysis is required to fully understand how this project would work. Regardless of the many issues with this idea, this solution can make a huge difference. Habitats can be brought back to life and large amounts of supply could be permanently covered. Thank you for watching.